How's it going guys? This is Tony from RMR and riding in the GTI again with Ethan here. And this is our second episode or Episode video, two. Yep, episode number dos of uh, our vlog series, I guess if you will. Yeah. Our topic for today is track days and why you should consider taking your car to track. Yes. So Ethan over here has had uh, a lot of well, a lot more experience than I have on the track. I, I've gone to three or four actual track days or HPDEs, which stands for High Performance Driving Event, uh, at the track. Um, now, what a high performance driving event is, it's not competitive at all. It's solely based on making you a better driver. Um, so you're not timed. The place you're in doesn't matter. You're going to be on the track with people who are of similar similar skill level as you. So you have your novice, your intermediate, and your advanced. So if it's your first time you're out with a novice, you'll have an instructor in your passenger seat who will help you the whole time and just teach you the way around a track. Now. I think this is really helpful because you can really explore the limits of your car on the track like you can't on the street. And it'll really help you learn how to drive your car the best you can, even at, you know, speeds on the street. It'll just help you know how your car will respond to your inputs at certain speeds and just makes you a better driver, makes you really aware. You have to be really aware on the track of all the people around you, people trying to pass you, you trying to pass people. Um, so it really helps you as a better driver on the street to drive on the track and it's also super fun yes even uh, just riding with somebody on the track is a lot of fun like i rode uh shotgun with ethan and the miata back when he had it at car fest and that was my first time on any sort of track ever and I, it was really fun because it was just cool getting to see him constantly you know pushing the limits of his car whereas when you're, you're on the street you can't really do that because you know it's not really like legal and it's just, I don't know, it's just some, it's something different about it than just kind of like canyon carving like on the back roads than when you're driving on a track because you're, you know, you have like the apex and like you're on this really smooth pavement. There's no, you know, bumps or anything. And it was, it, I don't know, it was just a really fun time and it was really cool getting to try, you know, experience that. And it's made me want to, uh, you know, get into that myself. And, you know, that's why I want to be on this, my first, like my first track car. Before I went to CarFest, I wasn't really, like, too into the idea of it until I just rode with him and one other person. So CarFest, CarFest is, um, it's kind of like a big car festival that we have in the Northeast. Uh, it's held at Mid-Ohio, which is near, it's a little bit north of Columbus in Ohio. Um, and it's, what's it, August? No, it was, was it? Uh, it was Halloween it was weekend. It was late. Yeah, Halloween yeah. weekend. October, that's right. Yeah. It was really late. Um, it was a good time. But it's like a three-day event, uh, like a car show, track day, autocross. There's a bunch of music, some food. It's, it's like this whole kind of big car thing. It's kind of like a music um, festival, but for cars. Yeah, so think of, think of like uh, grid life. It's like grid life if you have what a grid. What the hell? What? Mercury, the, the wheels. Oh, that is super safe. <laughs> super safe. Be like that guy. Yes. Um, Don't take that car on the track. Uh, Probably won't so, pass tech. You know, if you have a grid life, that's that's kind of a popular. It's just like grid life. Or if you play Forza, it's like it's like Forza Horizon. You got your cars. You got a bunch of music. It basically just a bunch of people, a bunch of car people getting together, having a really good time on a track. Yeah, that's um, a lot of fun. So. I had my car out there for the third or fourth time at the track, and I gave a bunch of my friends rides there, um, so they could see what it was like. And Tony took his focus out on the track during one of them. Oh my God, that was sexy. That was a GT 350R. That thing was very oh. attractive. Yeah, I got to I take that. my car on the track for like the, the parade lap. But it, but it but was a little more. You, you know, cool. it was basically you, you couldn't go really over 45 or 50 miles an hour, but you know, it's, it's still. Like you know, it taught you a good line around the track, and you got it to do a couple laps, uh, yeah, five or six like, laps on there. That. Something fun to do. Um, but it was free, you know? <laughs> Even yeah. doing something like that. But You're like, oh, this is fun. If you guys have a track near you, um, try and sign up for some sort of high-performance driving event. You know, it's not... I don't want to 
want to say it's not hard on your car because the track's always going to be harder on your car at the street. But if you're a novice driver, you're not going to be pushing your car to the limit because you just, you're not. You don't feel comfortable. Your car is going to have a higher limit than you when you first start. Really, almost regardless of what car you have. Yep. So, you know, you don't have really real worry about a whole lot, honestly. Put some upgraded pads on there, like some Hawk HPSs, um, some EBC yellow stuff, something like that. Um, prefer preferably summer tires. Um, so you and then just have a go, tires, you know. When you're first starting out, you really don't need to do a whole lot to your car. That's a sick E39 wagon. You don't really have to do a whole lot to your car and just go have a good time. And then if you like it, then you can keep going. And then you can start nice lightweight wheels with sticky tires, get some coilovers, um, maybe, maybe do some power upgrades, but um, just see if you like it. It doesn't really cost... It's a little expensive, track days compared to other things, but um, it's really fun for what you're doing, especially if you get a full day, you know, you get a couple hours on track total for 250 bucks, maybe less, it really just depends on your track. Yep. Um, over here in the Northeast, we have Mid-Ohio, which is near Columbus. We have uh, Gingerman, which is in Michigan. We have Pit Race in Pittsburgh. Um, and then we also have um, Nelson Sledges. Nelson Sledges. Great, but, but fifty dollar that track was day, that's not yeah, that, was, that was a cheap one. Yeah, uh, but basically the quality of the, the track is gonna determine what kind of price it is. Yep. Uh, even if you're like, if you feel, because with me, you know, I kind of feel a little nervous taking my focus on the track because that's like my daily. And if I were to, God forbid, wreck it, then that's that's my only car, you know. And you know, as as much as I probably wouldn't, I even if you just start with like just doing like an autocross which is you know like a track day but smaller you know you're in like a big parking lot there's cones lined up and you know you can, it's kind of like a little obstacle course kind of thing and the worst thing that happens is that you hit a cone and you scuff up your paint you're not gonna hit a wall you're not gonna flip your car over you know i mean i mean i'm not not disclaimer i can't promise you won't flip your car over and it's an just autocross. you really I don't know what you, you would really have, to, have do to try to, like, to flip your car unless over. Unless you're on like, you have like, I don't know. I can't. Unless you drive a Fiat 500 Abarth on stock suspension <laughs> with slicks, you can't have an Abarth with slicks in autocross because you will roll over. Really? Wait, really? Completely serious. Yeah, Dom, serious? Dom cannot put slicks on his car on stock suspension. He is illegal to run in any class because of the hazard of flipping his car over. So there you go. Because think of it, his car is so top heavy. Yeah, it's like a little... And you, you get so much grip in the car, it's just... Whoop. It's over. So, uh, so, yeah, if you have... If anyone out there is watching... You got watching, a Fiat 500. Fiat 500 or a Fiat 500 Barth, don't put slicks on it because... With stock suspension. No, with stock suspension. With stock suspension because yeah. you'll flip it over. Yeah. So, I just learned something today, and I hope all of you learned something today. And now uh, we're just flying. <laughs> what the hell? What was that for? Fucking hell. Guy was trying to get around me. I can't let that happen. <laughs> going, this, the, going over the speed limit. He wants to go faster. I can't. The, do that. This dude next to us was. He's like, what the hell are you doing? We like to do that. We like to give the people that like we pass. We like to give them the chop fingers like this. I don't know if you saw that, but people always look at us like. Shifting gears and I'm drinking beers. Okay. Well, um, I think that's about it for yeah, you guys today. Um, stupid. <laughs> so this will this will sum up vlog number two here. Yeah. Um, if you have any vlog comments the, about this, any two. thoughts, uh, any ideas of what you want us to do for future vlogs, drop us a comment. Let us know. Um, subscribe, like if you if you like what we're doing here. Um, and see you later. <laughs>